Yo, yo, check this out. For the culture live is what we all about. Oh shit, niggas is rapping today. Did you, did you write that? You free, freestyle that? Nigga, off the dump, nigga. Who writes? Oh, my bad, dump. <laughs> I'm like hope with the shit. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what's up, y'all? It's your host, Nick Alexander. Uh, it's your boy Ty Sterling. Back for another episode of For the Culture Live. We uh took a, took a week off, but we back. But at we it. back. We back. We are back like a flat ass. <laughs> I wasn't. I was like, you were giving it the, the, the cook crack. No, but, I, but like flat butt crack. Okay. Yeah, back. Ass, yeah, Back ass. yeah. Okay, right. yeah. I fucks with that. My <laughs> nigga, my nigga. What's going on, son? Good to see you, boy. Yeah, and we got Paul with us today. Paul gonna kick it with us. Yo, yo, what up? Oh, he got a mic and everything. Hey, that's what lucky motherfucker. What's up, man? Engineer privileges. I was gonna say I like how it's lucky yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that I have a microphone. I have thirty seven. How you been, bro? <laughs> I've been chilling, bro. Chilling. Just chillin'. watching my Clippers do work. Yeah, let's let's we gonna start. We gonna just let's do NBA shit off the bat. So it's been about a week and some change. Like five. Everybody's played about five, six games. Let's do. uh Go by go with each team, and just we could talk about whatever's been happening. Mm-hmm. We'll start first with our with, with Paul. So Paul's Clippers is uh, was it four and one? We are no 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 no. We're uh, four and two. A four, you lost twice. Yeah. Who's the second loss? We lost twice. We lost to uh, Utah, right? Did you? I think so. One of them games Kawhi ain't played though. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah. He did load management against because exactly. uh, he played against San Antonio tonight. So four and two. Yeah. Which is crazy to me, dog. You doing load management within the first six games of the season? But you know what? You have to do that. Because if you don't, no, you have to do that with Kawhi. Because if he wants low management, let him take it. Because you saw what happened with the Spurs. If you don't get that nigga what he want, then right. he gonna get. The, he gonna find a way to get the fuck out. Yeah. So get that nigga whatever Yo, the fuck. NBA want, players man. can really bully their situation. Yeah. I was telling Paul. I think the issue with that is like when it comes time for MVP talk and award shit, uh-huh. it's gonna be hard to say. You have to reward people who who availability. Yeah. Even though he does dominate, but it's like he's dominating with more rest. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And I can't, if Giannis is playing 82 and doing what he do, mm-hmm. why should I reward Kawhi mm-hmm. when you be sitting 10 to 15 games? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, but he don't care about awards. And it's, you know, it's about us just enjoying yeah. it and you know, the MVP narratives and stuff like that. So, you know, Clippers off to a pretty good start. I mean, yeah, I mean, Kawhi has just elevated that team. Everybody, they're playing like how everybody expected to, and that's still without Paul George. So, Paul, yeah, how you feel about them so far? Yeah, I mean, Paul George is going to be our MVP candidate, not Kawhi. Yeah. Right, because I think once he's back, he'll play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he won't rest. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I like what I'm seeing, bro. It's, I, I predicted that they were going to have a very slow start. Mm. So they're already... Like a chemistry thing, maybe. Yeah, like nah. they got to learn to play together. But what ha- what helps us is, you know, Kawhi and them. It's like the, the Clippers from a couple years back with that bench call mob mm. where they the first team kind of holds them in the game. Like right, Kawhi, right, right. And then Lou Will and Montrez come in. and they just They play as way. much minutes as Kawhi. Yeah, yeah. It, it's almost like you're not really a starter. You get starters minutes, but you yeah. just don't start the game. Yeah. Like you just on paper you don't start the game. But he's yeah. closing the game. He's playing the mo- minutes where it matters. And I mean, they got a good like ro- solid just uh, role players like uh, Michael M- J- Michael Green, uh, Shamit, the second year player. He was really good in Philly, and then he came to them. He could shoot the ball really well. They got uh, Mo Harkless from Portland's a good pickup. He can Mo Harkless them. been putting it as work. much as I want to say it, dog. Harrell's a beast, dog. Yeah. Every time I, I see his no box score. Every time I see that nigga boxer, it's like 70% and up. Right, right. He don't right. miss shit, He don't though. miss shit. He just hit them dunks. He, he dunked like six times a game and just... Ah, like, and like he got like a little hook shot, too. Yeah, yeah. He got some stuff in his game. If he gets a jump shot, it's like, whoa. The only nigga I'm not giving credit is Pat Beverly, though. That nigga can Beverly's see Beverly's playing stand- stellar him, defense. Uh-huh. Fuck him. Perimeter defense, even Fuck though Beverly's him. an enemy. Locked uh, it down. Lock him. Locked it down. Locked it down. He didn't lock down Booker, though. Yeah, yeah, Booker, Booker gave him work. That was the one. But and Kawhi he, didn't guard him either, though. He didn't guard Booker either. Nobody, the Booker just went off that night. Yeah. Well, um, they had uh, Shamit on him, didn't they? A lot too. I mean, Shamit is a solid defender, but I mean, you need to like Booker don't like double teams. They should have double teamed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you remember he exposed what he got a problem with. He hated double. They didn't. They yeah. didn't. They didn't want double team. But I get it. It's a regular season game. You know, you're not gonna win all 82. And um, like I said. Some it's it's weird because like I, I become more analytical with every year because I, I listen and pay attention to so much basketball and it's like, yeah, the way some teams start can dictate a season, but also there can be slow starts and these first five to ten games won't matter because once they just pick it up. But I think the margin for error, especially in the West, is small because if like with the Warriors, their season's over. I don't yeah. think we can oh. say I don't. They're going into the lottery. They need to just sit everybody the fuck down. Yeah, it's probably better for them though to get a lottery pick because they couldn't. They had no money to sign anybody else like 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 legit good players. So it's like you can get a a lottery pick who could potentially help and and be young and just help as the uh, the, the other core guys get older. So I think it's smart for them to get a top five, top ten pick. Like there's gonna be some good guards or whatever they think they need, they should get. So Ty, let me ask you something. I, so, I, I blame Draymond for that. 
Why you blame Draymond? They got it. They had to re-sign Draymond, right? Right. Which um. Well, he took his extension. He could have waited a year. Yeah. To hold out for more money, but he was just like, I'll just commit. And know? then, and then I was I was watching the interview with KD. He said that. Uh, that fight has something that, to do with it. Yeah, that fight has something bitch, to do with it. without you. Yeah, and he said, he, and he, he called him a bitch. Like, you you can't expect a nigga yeah. to come back to the team after Sorry. you call him a bitch. You know what I mean? I, I, I might could call my teammate soft. You know what I mean? But I, I could have came back from that. I, I, I don't know if I'll call my teammate You couldn't a bitch. have come back from that? If we was arguing. If it was like, me, you bitch ass motherfucker. Like that. Me and you. Right. But not some new nigga to the team that don't fuck with me like that. I but don't they, really but know they, like they, that. They, they, they Why are you pointing at me friends. when you say they're like oh, brothers? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you can't say it. No. They've been brothers. They said they, they've been friends for like over 10 years. They played in the Olympics together like in 20 Oh, they've been friends for that long? Yeah. Oh, I mean, KD's just being soft then. Yeah, he said it had a little bit to do. He said it wasn't everything. He also said, too, that... But still, I want to put that out in the media like that. I mean, KD's a... a Cupcake. A, a truthful person, yeah. so he's not going to just... He's a fucking softy. He, th- that's, the, that's the thing, though. If that somehow affected you even a little bit, I just feel like... If my homeboy... If me and my homeboy get into a fight and he called me a bitch-ass nigga... Like, this well, it's also mad. not about bitch. It's also he was... He said, and if I remember the fight correctly, he was also, we don't need you. We won without you. And maybe those are the things that stuck out more in his mind that he couldn't unsee. Like, you saying bitch, like, stop playing like a bitch, like, yeah. man up. That's okay. I could take that. Maybe I'm playing soft tonight. But him saying, going as far as to say is, we don't need you, mm-hmm. we want without you, when he's the nigga that called you to say, yo, you got to come join us after they lost to Cleveland. Because mm-hmm. remember, Draymond was mm-hmm. crying and then called KD and said to join him. So I think it's my thing is, like, after all that, like, nigga, really? Yeah. You're going to be like, I need you, nigga? Wasn't you the one called yeah. me? Fuck you then. They, they should have they had a conversation. Um... They did. After. They did. They talked about it. He said because oh. uh, Draymond went on. A- Woj, Woj has a podcast, right? Mm-hmm. So Draymond and Kerr was on, or the, the GM was on Woj's podcast, saying how like at first he didn't want to apologize or for whatever. He didn't think he was wrong, but then when he sat with it at a time, he realized he hurt his brother's feelings. And then they spoke and, and patched it up, and they, they're still good. But I mean, clearly that part had to do with it, where Kevin just couldn't, I guess, undo it. But mm-hmm. they also said too. He said the way the team was moving, they wouldn't have been able to afford to keep everybody because Livingston retired. They traded off Iggy. That would have just been more workload for them as they got yeah. older. I mean, even with all the money he was making. So. I feel like the type of person KD is, man, he holds on to grudges. He, yeah, he, he, don't he does let not shit let go. shit go. He don't let that shit go. He petty niggas. I hate, I hate I like, people. I like petty niggas. But. I don't like, no, I'm petty, but yeah. I, don't, I don't hold on to shit. Like, for example, like, if me and you get into some shit and then we talk about it, I'm over it. If we talk, if we have the talk. Yeah, yeah. we talk about it, I'm over it. Right. But if we don't talk about it, that means, like, you probably still upset. So, but if like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold on to the shit though, man. Like, true. But if there's factors into when you're making a decision in what's best for you, and that plays a part into it, like he said, it's not the only reason why he left. He also liked how Brooklyn was building. Well, they're not gonna win over yeah. there, so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. And you know, Golden State, you know, they getting their ass whooped, and I think every team is checking, enjoying that. Everybody's mm-hmm. smiling around the league. Oh man! I hope when the Lakers go and go and say they pounce on them. With, Khalil, them clap them cheeks. Khalil is. <laughs> Is yo, he, I haven't checked on him. He's he, been quiet. Dog, he now might, he's a Heat fan. He might be in a mental ward right now, dog. Yeah. It might be over for him because this nigga was talking hella trash the past couple years because he's a, he's, a, he's a huge Golden is State fan. Is he a Golden State fan or he's a Heat fan? No, now he, he's, probably he's always a been a Golden State fan because oh, okay. I remember he was a Golden State fan back when like Jay Rich was there. Yeah, he used to like you know Jay mean? Rich. He claims yeah. Jay Rich is a better dunker than Vince Carter. That's a never-ending argument amongst us two. He's very good, but not better than Vince Carter. Yeah. 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 But, it, you know, Khalil's just one of our friends who are just like, all right, man. We go back and forth. We go back and forth, but we we know we at some point we right to, at, at some point we tap out because he just doesn't give up. And but, this year, uh, what he said was going to happen this year. What they were going to do? He said that they were still going to be able to make the playoffs without Clay. Well, you don't have Curry either. Yeah, so and yeah, they're not doing it. Um, let's okay. Let's shift to so Ty's team. The, his Lakers are like what four and one. Yes, sir. So they're playing playing really well. Um, they they recovered from the opening night uh, game against the Clippers, and I think they've been playing really good basketball. They're gelling. Braun was a beast. Like, like Kuzma he was a came beast. back last night. But, you know, he didn't injury. look a hundred, of course, because he's been gone for a while. But he got him some good points off the bench, though. Like yeah. he hit like nine, I think. He didn't make any of his outside shots, but yeah. he, you know, he drove. He was cutting, and I think those are important because I feel like, you know, the way LeBron and Davis dominate the ball, guys need to move. And yeah. I think Kuzma's an active guy, and uh, once he gets his legs right, I think he'll be a good scoring punch. KCP needs to be arrested immediately. Ty really dis- he dislikes KCP. He they need to put that fucking. Uh, ankle bracelet back on his fucking ankle and send his ass back to wherever the fuck he was Sheesh. when he got locked up because this nigga is stealing money from us. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's stealing he's, from us, dog. Speak on it. This nigga pay, plays 28 <laughs> minutes and can't get a bucket. Yeah. What was that game where he went 0 for? He went 0 for like 8. No, he went 0 for 4. He didn't even shoot that yeah, much. He didn't shoot that much, right, right. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? He's a hired gunner and you're not gunning. Listen, 
if you getting if you can't get your buckets, then you at least gotta lock up, dog. Right, right. He don't get no buckets and then get shit on on the other end. Who was he guarding last night? Um, who you spent time on? Oh, um, I know he switched. He switched off from like Luca and mm-hmm. um and Tim Hardaway Jr. Right. And Tim Hardaway Jr. was getting buckets. Right, so it's right. like, yeah. you. What are you doing? You what are you what are you doing? Yeah, I think the Lakers, man, if they can get Iggy, that would be super helpful. If if, if Iggy gets bought out by Memphis or gets traded and waived, if Lakers can get Iggy, I think that'll be what can give them the edge on the Clippers. Fuck, man, Rich Paul, fuck. This really God hurts. damn it! Really you guys are gonna try to build that uh, forty over forty club <laughs> when you just keep getting older and older. Better. Iggy, oh, Iggy will be fine for the playoffs because all you need him is 15, 20 minutes a night. He just got he's gonna help with ball handling, help make plays. He'll guard the other team's best wing to give LeBron and AD breaks or whatever like that. And I think when Rondo comes back, that'll help with the, with more playmaking so that LeBron doesn't have to carry the load. But I think think if they can get one solid wing. Iggy or somebody else, but I, I bet my money on Iggy because I think he can still give you something at, at his age, and especially because he's not playing, so his legs are gonna be straight. I think that they, that's their. I think if if they if, if it was somebody who they needed to kind of get through the Clippers, I think Iggy could be the guy. Yeah, I, Iggy's gonna be great on the Clippers. <laughs> Damn, that's what that's how you feel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, last night, man, AD was dominating. They couldn't stop him. Chris Stapps. He's this nigga missed all his threes, though. Don't think I, I ain't see that, nigga. That nigga went 0 for 5 from 3, you Chris Tapps? No. Fucking AD. Oh, yeah. Talking about the nigga got an outside shot. I ain't seen him make an outside shot yet. He made it. He had the, in the 40 game, didn't he? Wasn't he making buckets? Yeah. He made, he made a 3 in that game? He was making he some threes. Multiple threes. He just was off last yeah. night. This was off night. But yeah. he still was killing him in the paint. That He had 30. Like, I was watching him, like, several post-ups, and he they just couldn't. They could not stop him. That baseline fadeaway from like three steps, and in. he got the handle too off the face up. Yeah, it's, ridiculous. Man, uh, you watch AD, it's just like yo, he's amazing. I think him getting this like national spotlight is really showing how how amazing he is. Um, yeah, man, Luca was whoo, man, twenty years old. Yeah, fucking just taking it to them, man. He looks crazy. He put them on their back, like he looks crazy. I don't know how I would feel if. I had a twenty-year-old like just shitting on me like that. He had ten. He's the for youngest to ten triple doubles. Like he has more triple doubles than Magic and LeBron did at um at his age, at their age, because they were because they both came to the league nineteen-year-olds, eighteen, nineteen-year-olds. I mean, yeah, he's amazing to watch. I, you know, Chris Stapps can still do stuff. I think he's still getting his legs under him, but he you know he's not all the way like where he can be. But the potential of, of Dallas, if they get like one more player, they can definitely be a serious problem in the league. Um, so it hurts Nick fans. Which we're gonna transition to, my Knicks, uh, boy. Um, we 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 in these games, but we just can't finish, man. Yeah, we we, we yeah. played a close game against Boston last night. They finally started Frank Natalikina, the French Prince Point God, and he was, he was he look, man, he makes such a difference. It's really hard to explain to people who don't watch the game. Mm-hmm. He's just a guy who's not gonna pop on the box score, but he does so many little things mm-hmm. like on help and off ball and on ball. And it's just like you see the difference, but it's it's hard to like prove it when there's games where fucking Fizz will put him in for like three minutes and then like yank him, and it's like I can't show the average person that this guy is good if he's getting three minutes one game and then one game fucking Fizz put him in for 18 seconds. Like that's just disrespectful, man. Mm-hmm. And like you're trying to claim that you want the team to be about defense, and then you benching or not playing the per- the best perimeter defender on the team. Uh, RJ was been solid. He had a uh, he struggled from the field, but he still had a good game, like all around game and. Um, yeah, Kemba Walker and Tatum, man. Tatum hit a hit, hit a Kobe rip through move. Like you can just tell Kobe taught him that move, yeah, man. He yeah. against RJ. RJ been he got Jalen by Kyrie to win a game and Tatum about to win a game. So it's like that's good company. I think he played good defense, just better offense. But we're like one in five. You know what you gonna say, Bob? Well, because you got Frank and thirteen power forwards. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's your squad. We got fucking Mook, Bully, Iso. This nigga called uh, Marcus Morris Dollar Tree Mello. <laughs> Because uh, I follow this Knicks, uh, shout out to my boy uh, uh, CP on Knicks Fan TV, and um, niggas be calling me, he's like, yo, man, what's up with Morris doing this Dollar Tree Mellow shit, yo? Like, <laughs> this nigga be holding the boy, yo, be doing like eight dribbles, step back fucking things, and then be shooting that shit, like, yeah, call him. And then Randall, Randall's trying to do too much. Like, yeah. he wants to be the guy so yeah, bad, yeah, yeah, and he's fucking yeah. just bullying and taking ISOs from the top of the key and then trying to back down and, it's, and be getting you fucking turned You remember when I told you in LA, I was like, he has talent, but I don't like his game. There's something it's about his ugly. game. It's, it's ugly. Something about his... It's ugly. I said that. I was like, there's something about his game that just, I just fucking, pass the fuck, get the shit out of your hands. And somebody right? said it was like, he's a good guy if he's finishing it with it. Like, if you're doing a pick and roll, he's great if you're do, if he's the roller, because he can go to the basket aggressive, mm-hmm. or he can pop, because now he's, he's a decent outside shooter. 
but he's handling like pick and rolls and, and yeah. it's just that's just too much at least right now like I get it you're trying to incorporate things relax, into the game dog. just relax just fucking relax man <laughs> just fucking relax bro like yo so it's I, I, I haven't been able to catch a lot of like the game start to finish I watched like highlights and last night I caught like the fourth quarter so we're, we're in a lot of these games, and our defense is better. Now we're struggling, actually, on the offensive end because it's so much ISO, and we don't have, like, we need, like, one more guy who can just break defenses apart whenever from the perimeter. And they're trying to use it with the, with the big forwards, but it's just it's ugly. So, I mean, hopefully we get it together. But, yeah. um, you know, I, I think my Knicks uh, will secure another top five pick, and hopefully we get one of these, these good guards that's in, that's in college ball or, or maybe LaMelo or something like that. I think we need, yeah, if we can get, like, one more guard, you know, we'll see how it goes, but we'll, you know, we'll touch back on basketball. What about Dennis weeks. Smith? Uh, he he had his back injury during training camp, and um, he was playing like the first three games, and he just he just looked horrible. Like, not no confidence in his J. He would hold the ball, dribble, and turnovers, and no defense. And then um, and then his stepmother passed away, unfortunately. So we're like our prayers. So we could just you just know his headspace might not be his head might not be in the game. So yeah. we can't rely on him. Evan Payton injured his hamstring already. So he's injury prone. So right. Frank is by circumstance getting the chance to do his thing, which I, I I've been pining for because I do believe if Frank plays a lot of minutes, he can show what he could do. But yeah, Dennis Smith is I can't really rely on what Dennis Smith can do right now because of his because mm-hmm. of his situation. So it's no, you know, I was giving him criticism just in basketball, but when it's somebody you lose a death, everybody takes it differently. So I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna beat him up beat him up, beat him up on him for that. Uh, but yeah, that's where we are with the NBA right now. And mm-hmm. uh, what, yeah. what 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 were you for Halloween? I chilled. I didn't do, do nothing. I stayed there. You didn't do nothing? No. What were you dressed as at Meg's? I forgot. Uh, <laughs> I ended up being John Singleton. That wasn't <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't planned. But um, when I talked to the people, they was like, oh, yeah, I could kind of see that. And then I just went with it. Ah! <laughs> my original, my thing I was trying to do was like Puffy in the 90s with the bad boy this, but nobody was buying it. So I was like... So maybe no, John just Singleton. Go, just go John Singleton. Singleton. <laughs> everybody was like, oh, yeah, I do remember John Singleton in pictures, right? You seen the young pictures of him? He used to with go to the hat yeah. and shades. So I, ended, I morphed into John Singleton yeah, by the end of the night. Because yeah. uh, Rick was like, yeah, my nigga, you wasn't thinking that because I seen your Facebook post, your Instagram post with the picture, and you made it more than what it was. And I kind of like did that. I, I, I touched it up a little bit, but yeah. I wanted to definitely show salute because I figured it, it did work. Yeah. It did work. Um yeah, I was John Singleton. Yeah, I was old school Snoop. You killed it. That Snoop, you killed it, my nigga. Like, yeah. the, the the look by look, when you do the editing, it's really powerful how you can do it on social media. Did you tag yeah. Snoop? Yeah, I did. I did. did he, I, I sent it to him. Any likes or recognition? Nah, he nah, ain't sick. He, he, he has like a million followers. Nah, so, he, I mean, has, sometimes things catch him. Sometimes yeah. it don't. Like, if you had tagged him in the, in the post, maybe he would have I, I tagged him. a couple people, tagged him in the post. Okay. Um, and did then just, I sent it to him DM, but you probably won't see it. Yeah, but Snoop, man, if you if you ever get this piece of audio or video and. No tie was doing you well, brother. Yeah, I, yo, I, you really I did. Sh- you really killed it, though. I sure holla at the homie because the homie know him. You remember because he worked with him. Right, right, right. But like, yo, send oh, it, yeah, send it, send it to Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah send true, it to him. True. But yeah, no, you definitely had the um, what's that? The what's it called? The um, the, the um the flannel, the flannel, flannel, the, flannel the uh, San Andreas flannels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, yeah. the, and the dicky pants with D- the chucks. Dicky pants. Nah, 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 and you had the hair done to a T. It was yeah. looking crispy, wavy, <laughs> just smooth. Did you go anywhere out on actual Halloween? Yeah, um, me and Reek had went to um, this party. Um, we went to two parties. The first party, I, I didn't really get to participate because my, my homie that I invited to go, uh-huh. his car had broke down. Mm. He, he needed to jump, so I was helping him jump his car. And I didn't want to leave him outside and go party, so right, I just right. kind of like stayed with him until his car got back up. Right. We ended up fixing the car. He went home, and then Reek had left that party, and then we went to another one. Okay. Yeah, the, the the boys that uh that perform with y'all that night, the last show that y'all did, the black group. Um, uh, did you Bernie, not Bernie Mac and Cheese. Um, I think it was Bernie Mac. White and women, cheese. white women, white women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. white women. Yeah, I met up with them. Yeah. Um, Ronnie or somebody. Yeah, the one of them was kind of like tall and kind of chubby a little bit. Okay. And then another one was like really tall, skinny. Yeah, tall, I, I, skinny. Ronnie. Yeah, that's Ronnie. Yeah, okay. yeah. He's funny as shit. Yeah, he's funny. funny he was like, <laughs> he's like, yo. I was at the other party. I seen Reek chilling out. He wasn't trying to talk to no girls. Now we in here. It's a bunch of white girls. This nigga don't know how to fucking act. He's like, what's up with that, Reek? <laughs> <laughs> ah, put him on blast. And then Reek's like, hey, man. He's like, don't start that rumor. <laughs> don't start that rumor, okay? <laughs> That's cool. So they, and what was the, how was the other party? No, the other party was straight. It was cool. All right. And you did yeah. the Snoop again? Yeah, I did okay, the Snoop okay, again. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. It's like, we don't got the budget to be trying to do different shit. So yeah. it's like, I would, if I had came out on Halloween night, I probably would have did John Singleton again. Yeah, exactly, dude. I, I'm going right. to be John Singleton next year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a costume guy. I ain't gonna, I've tried a couple times. I've been an R&B singer like 10 years running. 
I forgot, man. What was up? Uh, beginning of the show, we should have. Um, rest in peace, John Witherspoon, man. Uh, yeah, the, all right. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, John man. Witherspoon, R.I.P. A comedy legend, actor, comedian, John Witherspoon. He passed away uh, this week. Um, thoughts and prayers to his family. Uh, Seventy-seven. I know, 77 years yeah. old. Uh, shout outs to JD Witherspoon. Um, I know JD um, and through the comedy comedy game. He's a, a comedian as well. Who's father followed in his father's footsteps, and I see him every now and then. We we had just actually chopped it up like a week prior, and um, man, yeah, just that is hitting them hard. So you're definitely uh, prayers with you, bro. Uh, let's uh, yeah, let's fucking you know touch on John Witherspoon, man. I think um, you got to meet him, right? I got yeah, I got to meet. I got to work with yeah. him. Oh, um, that must have been. Like, I spent like so a cool, yeah, weekend in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, in like 2000, maybe 11. That was one of my first like yeah, big road gigs. Um, and I, I posted him on my Instagram. He was really cool, man. Just funny as shit. You know, he had to like you know, he wore like the nice little polo when he chilled. But then when he's in the show mode, he come out with the um, uh, uh, coordinate uh, uh, the, um, uh, um, polka dot shirts. Yeah, and the bow tie and the pants and with the shoes. He he used to dress like that on stage. Or he'll have the po- a suit. The polyester. The polyester, yeah. right. And he was, I mean, he was funny. Like, you never saw him live, right? No, nah, I've never got to he see him He got a special, live, though. Uh, uh, he put out an hour special. Oh, okay. Um, I'm you can watch it. it check it out. Yeah, it, he had a great, he was great, man. Like, yeah, and super, just super cool guy. Like, he's one of those um, stars or guys who made it that comics on every level just, like, have always had nothing but good things to say mm-hmm. about John. Like, you just don't really have any, like, oh, he was an asshole or he was mean or he whatever. Like, you've seen the love that comics has given him. Like, mm-hmm. you know, Marlon Wayne's. Marlon had a close relationship because the Wayne's family worked with John since John since uh, Hollywood Shuffle. Mm-hmm. They put him in that and uh, with Townsend and Keenan, and then they did the Wayne's Brothers. That's me, you know. That's one of our favorite shows. Yeah. Um, and John is pops yickety, and you know you got <laughs> don't tell, tell nobody. nobody. Uh, he has so many like famous lines. The Friday trilogy. Yeah. Every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen, eating up all the food, and then they got all the big feet, <laughs> all the hog malt. Um, that nigga's just so funny, man. They ain't got no milk. Put some water on that shit. I'm uh, not pussy whoop. Ah, whips. Pussy. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boomerang. Uh, house party. For the boondocks. Yeah. He was oh, the boondocks. Grandma. I mean, oh, man. And, and currently he was on um, Black Jesus. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's got like, shit, 30, damn near 30 years of just stuff you can find. And uh, and he's just a part of like classic, not only black comedy, but just comedy in general, like his impact. One of the best comedic actors to do it. The quotables, like, yeah, man, he had a great career. Um, and yeah, damn, it's, yeah. it sucks. Cause he, like, I've been texting friends this since it's like, you know, you feel like John was going to be around forever. Like, yeah. he's always going to get to be a dad or transition into grandpa and yeah. be the funny ass grandfather in movies. And yeah. he just like, yeah, I hope whatever he, he did, you know, comes out. I don't know. Was he doing anything recently that he had in the I works? know that, um, I remember last time I checked, like, yeah. uh, Ice Cube was working on the new Friday, and they said that it was in the works. Shooting, or yeah. hadn't, they hadn't. They, they was in the works already of doing it, but they haven't recorded anything yet. So I don't know I, if that's I, gonna do it. exactly. That and then, shifts and, the movie. And then the Boondocks was supposed to come out with another um, season. Or season. Two. So and it's like, how, how are you gonna do it without Granddad? It's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be tough. I I know it's probably a lot of money that that was on the table. We're trying to get this last Friday off. We're hopefully getting everybody, but without John, it's it's not gonna be the same. Yeah. Um. Even yeah. if you know Mike Epps, and even if Fuck it, Chris Tucker came back to be Smokey. Mm-hmm. Pops not being there is going is going it's going to be it's going to be weird yeah. um, unless they find a way to make it kind of like a tribute to him. So it's mm-hmm. like he's not around. And he just use I mean even if you use flashback scenes, it's just uh, it's, I don't know. I I, I I think I wouldn't touch it. But I, I you know if they get Chris if you get Chris Tucker, and Mike Epps, and Cat Williams when he gets off a of house arrest, it's like how do you yeah. not do Friday? Yeah. That's where the business and the and life shit gets real because it's like this movie could. I hate, to, I hate to even talk like this, but yeah. it, it could still go on, but it's not going to be the same. It's not. Uh, it's just like House Party after Robin Harris. You know what I mean? Yeah. They missed yeah. his presence in the in the, in the in the sequels. So, mm-hmm. um, What was your favorite John Witherspoon thing? You guys have anything like, like, whether it's the show or a movie, like, what do you most love about John Witherspoon? What, 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 what thing that he did? Which, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was Boondocks. The Boondocks is your favorite yeah, thing yeah, from John 100%. Witherspoon? Okay. Yeah, he. Yeah. I go with Wayne's Brothers for me. I didn't watch. I, I'll be honest. I haven't watched the Boondocks from like <laughs> that in, inherently, but funny, I, heard, I know bro. it's great. I watched I, a few episodes. I think one of my favorite things that he did on um, Boondocks was the episode where um, he's doing online dating, oh, and I then like check that out. you look at the you look at the profile picture and like they fine as fuck, and then when they show up to his door, they ugly. So every girl that showed up to his door, <laughs> his reaction was he was like, "Ooh, damn!" And like so, <laughs> one of the girls was like, "What?" What's the problem? He goes, what's the problem? Bitch, this ain't you. 
<laughs> that shit is so funny, man. And he was the grandfather, right? Or the yeah, dad on Boondocks? He was the he was the grandfather. Um, the two kids. What's the plot of the, the show? The two kids moved in with granddad because the granddad like like he's retired and, and came across the money, and so like to get away from the from the neighborhood that they were in or whatever, they moved in with granddad. Okay. So he's taking care of them. Okay. And like. And while they live together, they go through, like, a bunch of different shit. So it's the two kids and grandpa in the house. Yeah. Okay. And the, I know, because I cause like I watched episodes. Like, I know some of the classic episodes, but I, like I said, I didn't watch it season to season. Mm-hmm. So there was, like, what, three or four seasons of the Boondocks when we was in high school? And then they did, like, one more after was, Aaron McGruder left, right? But it wasn't was, as good? It was two seasons. Two was, or three? It was three seasons. Okay. But they and were, like, it, separated and spaced yeah. out. And then they did one more season. But that was without Aaron's presence. Yeah. yeah but it, how it was, was it? But was John Witherspoon and was the rest of the cast there? Yeah, the rest of the cast was there. It was just different. But you could feel it. Because yeah, Aaron McGruder's presence. Okay. Yeah. All right. But it's still classic, though. Yeah. John, John is John. John is going to be funny than anything. Yeah. Yeah. So you, both Boondocks, that would probably be your favorite thing of John's? It, it's between Boondocks and, um, Wayans Brothers. and the Wayans Brothers. Yeah, I got to go with Wayans. I love the Friday movies. I mean, Boomerang, you know, that one scene he killed at the house party, that one scene, and he was a scene stealer, but I think Wayne's, watching the Wayne's Brothers, there's just, like, so many episodes and, and just moments on that show where, like, I just love watching. Pops was just so fucking funny, man. Duh. I wish you would sleep right now. I hit you upside your head with a left hook. Make you take out the goddamn trash. He said, hey, what are you doing? He's like, I'm throwing this way. We ain't got no milk. Yeah. Put some water on that damn shit. You ain't see my post? Uh, yeah. But I was like, I, I was like, in honor of John Witherspoon, I'm going to need everybody to put some water on that damn shit. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yeah. Man, RP John. Rest in, rest in power. Uh, I believe his funeral services is uh, November 5th. It was weird. I think TMZ or somebody on Twitter actually showed where the memorial is going to be heard. I, I I guess it, it might be a public one. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if they're going to televise it. I think I would love to see people pay their respects to what, what could happen from that. But they mm-hmm. actually did post the information for his funeral on Twitter. If, I guess if you're a fan or somebody who wanted to just go to pay respects, that you know, you can do that. And um, Yeah, John, we're always going to remember you. You know, you got a, a ton of things that are, that'll live on and, and, you know, through the test of time. And definitely um, you gave us so many laughs. So, yeah, thank you, John. Um, so let's, uh, I guess, transition. Where do we go? Where do we go from here? Oh, I saw a post. Um I was talking about um, which Kanye is better. Okay, an era of Kanye. Yeah, so we have Am- Kanye with Amber Rose. Okay. Kanye with Kim Kardashian. So Kanye with Amber Rose was like 2009 and before, right? Well, he, they were only together like two years. So I, I'm trying to so think what can, albums. So we it? can do we can do a graduation album, I think. And maybe. after Amber Rose or before Amber Rose. Yeah, because yeah. I I know the cutoff is like 2009, like that's when they that's stopped. When they, dating. That's when they stopped dating, and then after that, like yeah, because 808 Heartbreak was before or after Amber. It was after, right? Because after it I was believe. based on her, right? Yeah. That that whole situation. Yeah. So I guess graduation was when they was fucking with each other. Yeah. I mean, me personally, I'm gonna go uh, post Amber Rose. You like Kanye? Yeah, the music. Because I mean, no, wait, pre Amber Rose. It's tough because pre. pre. I'm gonna go Dark pre. Twisted came post Amber. Uh huh. Watch the Throne came post Amber. Uh-huh. You got Yeezus. Uh-huh. Um, the uh, uh, big uh, what's his label? Um, good, good music. Good, good music, music had good that music, album. Good music compilation. Uh-huh. Some good works there. And then when he's heavily involved with Kim, it becomes uh, Life of Pablo. Yeah. You got the one that came out last year. What was last year's album? Uh, um, what was it? Shit, that seven song album. Whatever yeah, the fuck that was. And he had the song about his daughter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, and then I, you I got and then you got uh, Ye- uh, was it was new album called? Have you listened to it? The new album, uh, Jesus is King? No, not yet. Okay, we, n- neither have I. So I have no opinion on the, on the new album. Um, which, are you trying to look up that last year album? Yeah, but I'm going pre because graduation. The late registration, uh, college Late registration, dropout. college dropout. Like, yeah, that's tough. Th- those, those are like classic Kanye But, but My Dark Twisted? <sighs> my Dark Twisted it's is great. Wonderful. It's wonderful, but... Watch it's, the Throne? It's Wasn't not... The, it's, th- it's, that was... That that don't count, man, because it's him it's a, it's, and Jesus. All right, but Jesus, Jesus, I loved Jesus. I was one of the Jesus, Jesus people. Jesus was good, but it's not a graduation. It's I, not a late I, registration. I, I'd be hard it's pressed not. to find a weak song on Jesus. If you if you look at it now, like I, I get it, it sounded very weird and kind of like off when they first put it out. But like if you go through track by track, there's not a weak song on Jesus, man. If you go through track by track, there's not a weak song. It, at I the time, it wasn't. I, I, I I'm just saying. I, I think y'all, Yeezus is one of those ones that like it, 
at, at the beginning it didn't come out right, but the, through time people have realized that man, Yeezus yeah. was fucking dope. Yeah, 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 it was last year. Yeah, it was yeah, it was okay. There was some good songs on it, but it was it was okay. Which one did you say, Yeezus? Ye- I said Yeezus. We gonna see. On site, black skinhead. I am a god. Whew. I am a god was my shit. I'm in it. Guilt trip. Send it up. Blood on the I leaves. like bound. I like black skinhead. I am a god. Blood on the leaves. On site. What? New slaves. I ain't really fuck with home my liquor. On site was kind of like whatever to me. Guilt trip. Okay. I ain't really fuck with send it up. I mean, he that's, had some he had some good shit, but seven out of ten. That's not wow. Yeah, that, yeah, seven out of ten is 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 great. But I mean, this skip was on graduation. Not actually, it, it's tough because there's just more songs. So it, and then there's all those interludes. Come on, it was dog. it was a different kind of concept. I wonder, good life, stronger. No, that's my favorite. Um, that's my favorite concept. Yeah, you, yeah. You but I'm talking about it. the other one, the other two. Okay. With late registration, and dropout, they're great, but. It's different because there's more songs that like they yeah. have to. to the, it, it's it's a different comparison. Come on, it's dog. tough. Heard I, them I, say, "Touch the sky, gold digger, drive slow." Home. Bring me down with brandy was, was okay. Diamonds, we made yours you okay. Like songs. Oh wait, but um, on my, my way home with uh with common is good. Okay, it's that crack music, nigga. It's that real black music, nigga. Da, yeah, da, da, da. see, hey mama. Um, diamonds. Yeah, gone with Cameron. Come on, man. Let's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, pre Kanye, yeah, pre Kanye. Yeah, yeah, pre-Kanye. yeah, come on. Pre-Amber, pre-Amber, Rose. pre-Amber dog. Yeah, I take, I take that Kanye. Um, I'm going. I'm going. Um, what is this? College yeah. dropout. All falls down. We don't Jesus care. walk. Never let me down. Get them high. Workout plan. Mm-hmm. Slow jams. Yeah. Through the wire, of course. Family business. Last call. All right. Come on, dog. All right, all right. Come I, on, I, I just think Yeezus is really dope, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Yeezus was a good album, but he's yeah. not fucking with his... With his uh, Paul, did you, did you, have you listened to Jesus is King? No. Okay, so... Do you, hear, do you hear what Noriega said? He said Jesus... Uh, he's like, he's like, he's like, you had no malice in the clips uh, on there. He's like, how the fuck you have a song with them on there and the song ain't good? Jesus is mad at this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Is that this is the second worst thing that happened to Jesus. Yeah. Did you guys see the... Uh, the second worst thing that happened to Jesus. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Did you see the, the That's brunch? That's funny. The brunch well, yeah, what, what's had? the shit that you were talking about? Yeah. All right, so I got to find the post, but it was something like a $55 brunch, right, that, mm-hmm. that Kanye put on, and the plate looks like any continental breakfast at the Holiday Inn, like stale bacon and like little sausage patties that aren't even brown. They're just gray. Look, I had the chance to go to the early uh, Yeezy Sunday services. Um, I work, actually had worked on it. And the food, they had catering at those services, and the food was good. I don't know what happened since I left. They're, they're calling it the Fire Festival of Brunches. <sighs> the food was good the first time I was there. Like, when they, the, like Chris Rock came to that, to that shit. Um, Neil Brennan, Big Boy from the radio. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of celebs was pulling up to that Yeezy Sunday service. It was, and the food was good that day. I, I yeah. don't know what's happening. I guess the, the budget, I don't know what, because the, the budget, the budget, the budget is done. <laughs> I mean, they, the churches should be built by now because they did it at, at, uh, at, at a place near where he's in Calabasas. I'm not going to give that spot away. But, um, yeah, I don't know why the breakfast is, uh, is slacking now. Uh, <laughs> easy. Get it together, man. People's got to eat. They got to get their nourishment in the soul and <laughs> uh, from the songs. <laughs> yeah. Soul and the body. Uh all right, let's let's talk about this um, this list uh, that made made its way. It's been out in the, in Twitter and social media for a minute. Oh, you got it. I want to put it up on mine too. Yeah, I think we, I texted you about it, right? Personally, yeah. So they, they, um, they got the fifty worst rappers. Worst rappers list. So we're yes. gonna take as much time as we can to go through it. And I don't know. Are we debating if the list is accurate in terms of placement, Listen. or we just want to go through? The, all right, who There's deserves 50, to be on the list and who doesn't? All right, there's fifty names on here. Fifty names. What I is? am going to name who I do not believe. Should be on this fucking list. So let's go one by one then. So yeah. we can just, and then like, we can okay, give a little so, bit back and forth. Like, all right, so we got to go through it quickly. Yeah, so we'll go from 50 up so, to, to number one. So I'm going to start from number one. Okay, we'll then, do it. All right. And then go down. So Magoo, hmm. Blueface. No, 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 no. Huh? Let's just talk about each one. Talk about each one? We, we, we could probably, we could probably get through You think so? It. Okay. All right. Yeah, 10 minutes. All right. Magoo. So, Magoo, uh, had a good couple songs with Timbaland back in the day. Yeah. He, the thing is with Magoo, man, like, He's he definitely deserves to be on the list, but not number one. He does he's, not. He's a he is a bad rapper. Yeah, 
And he always that, had like that, that nasal congestion. That burr, 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 burr is the word. word. That shit fucked me up. Yeah. Before he said that, yeah. the, the verse was not bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad verse. But, and then when he did the bird is the word, I'm like, all right, But dog, you, you never know. heard Magoo out if he wasn't with the track yeah. on Timbaland. So no, so, no, you when couldn't he did do it on your own. Oh, law. Guess that, when yeah. he did that song, like, yeah. okay, yeah, I fucks with it. You know what I mean? But, but bird is a word. Yeah, you're defined by bird is a word, bird, bird, bird. And that's yeah. not going to fly. Two, Blueface. Blueface. You actually really... was hyping Blueface before he came out. Hold on. I this is what I told you about Blueface. I said Blueface is a weird rapper right. that doesn't rap on beat, mm. but I guarantee you he blows up. I told you that. I told you he was gonna blow uh, up, right. you and did he say did. That. You did say that. So but you were I right. ne- But I never liked his rapping you, you style. You never co-signed his skills as, a, yes, as an artist. Okay. Exactly. That's but what you I just said. Knew he was but, I, but I but I knew he was gonna pop. I knew he was gonna be catchy, All and right. people fuck with him. But he's trash. He's trash. <laughs> Lil Yachty, number three. Lil, Lil Yachty's not that good, but he makes catchy music. But I haven't so, heard anything from Yachty in a minute. I haven't heard anything from him in a minute. And I heard that he might be actually broke because he had, like, some jewelry. All right? the shit Joe Budden tried to tell him about. Yeah, he was, call, he was t- telling Joe Budden, you know, niggas is old. Why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me that? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Now, look, he has some jewelry that he was supposed to pay. He tried to pay 70000 on it, but then the check had bounced. And he and and now the jeweler well, wasn't he doing Sprite commercials and all this and but he was in a three sixty deal, which was Joe was trying to tell him about the kind of contracts he so you signed. You see what happens when you're young and you don't see him. See, I'm yelling. Yeah, yeah, fucking... You see what happens when you ye- when when you yell, you, 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 you fuck you... up the fucking mic. No, <laughs> but you see what happens when you don't fucking listen to your elders. Right. These niggas know what they're talking about. And the thing is, I went through the same shit with my mother. My mother used to tell me this. My mother used to tell me that. And I never fucking listened. And now when I get older, I realize, damn, she was fucking right. She was fucking right. And all Joe Budden was just trying to say was, yo, be careful of the kind of business you're doing. Yep. You don't want to sign these deals that make it hard for you to be flexible. And you having money issues and you only like one or two albums in? Yeah. Well, granted, you have you had a, a year, you had the kind of success you had, and you having money issues. That's the problem. Yeah. So, But he's still a trash rapper. Right. Um, uh, number four, Stunner for Vegas. Don't know um, him, so I'll put him as trash. Uh, he's not that bad. Uh, he's, he's too new right now for me to even evaluate. He's, um, he's kind of like uh, the baby's uh, uh, protege. Okay, so, so he, if you under a nigga, that nigga is, is questioning whether he's not good or not. I mean, the baby's good. Okay, the, but the thing is with the baby, he has like the same flow every fucking. Right, right, right. So, so he hasn't proven versatility because yeah. I haven't heard him. I'm gonna leave him off the list, and you say he doesn't really have a body of work to be yeah. to, to do that. So Silk we'll, the we'll, Shocker we'll, definitely deserves to be on this. Fucking but Silk list. was Silk had hits though. He did have hits, and he but he but never Blueface rapped on beat. Blueface has hits. He ain't got more than Silk though. He still knew. I know that's true. I know. Yeah, I mean, Silk the Shocker was the best talking yeah. rapper. If you ever yeah. want to hear somebody just talk on a song and never be on point with the bars, Silk the Shocker would definitely talk. He'll sound like this: I'll be riding on twenties, but then me and my girl get back on it, so I had to talk to you so I could slap on it. Like that's, yeah, that's how yeah. that's how he raps. Yeah, it's it's, it's <laughs> annoying. It, it, yeah, he's it, in the worst rappers. Yeah, he's yeah. somewhere in fifty. I don't know if he's number five, but he's definitely in the worst. He's definitely in the top ten. Oh, number six, JoJo Simmons. Yes. Only reason why. He was on a show where they were always trying to uh, market the fact that he was in a rap career. And then his brother, who never rapped on the show, be- was, became, a, became be- a, be- a bigger rapper. and better rapper than you. That yeah, you, you trash, sucks. Jojo. Uh, G Herbo. He got some songs, I guess. Yeah, but he definitely deserves to be he, on that. He, he's, he's in the group with Blueface and Silk the Shocker because he also raps off beat. All right. So, yeah, G Herbo, you trash. You got to learn how to talk yeah. on beat, brother. 50 Tyson, definitely. I, I don't even consider him a rapper. Yeah, he, yeah I don't even know why he's Lil on B, there. Which, what, I'll, I'll defer to you on here. You don't know who Lil B is? I remember, but I, I don't know the song. I don't know his music. Um, that's different from the um. Is that the one with the curse? Yeah, yeah. He's he cursed cur- Kevin yeah, Durant. Yeah, he's the bass god. Yes, I remember he had, he did have um a beef with Joe Budden. He put out a diss track, which mm-hmm. was actually pretty good. It was funny. And he cursed Joe Budden too, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but his music was not good. He so, was he was he was one of those YouTube guys that like his rap was so bad that people fuck with him. So worst rapper in the list is he somewhere in his fifty? Yes, All he's right. definitely somewhere in his fifty. I twenty don't know who that is. OJ the Juice I-20. Man. Hey, wasn't I twenty and I like that or one of these one of those movies out the way? Oh, he was a movie out the way with Ludacris. Yeah, he was. He was. He'll still be fight back. He yeah. was, I'll be right back. All right, yeah, you, yeah, you trash. Yeah. Uh, um, OJ the Juice Man. Hey, um, how you feel about OJ? Quarter big, half a brick, whole brick. Hey. Quarter pound, half a pound, whole pound, okay. So he had a gimmicky song. He's from the yeah. South. You know what's crazy? He won Freshman XL of the Year. I think it was in 2008 or 2009. One of those years, he won Freshman XL. And he, what's the feedback on his mixtapes or EPs? And are they good? Were they good or not? All right, so you. That one song was good, though, because he had the song with Gucci. One hit. Make the Trap A. 
So yeah, you worst rapper. Maddie He's B, somewhere in that list. Maddie B is the white boy. Nah, I don't um, know. I don't really trash. fuck with him. Vanilla Ice trash. Ice well, Ice I, baby. I, yeah, That's we gotta give it up. And Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go from the Secret of the Ooze Ninja Turtles movie, the second one. Okay, whatever. Yo, it's the Green Machine trying to stop a fight without being seen. Have you ever seen a turtle get down? <laughs> Slamming the grammy with the new school sound, but he's trash. Uh, hey Sean, um, I'm just gonna him. say she's trash because she literally gave up on rap because she felt she was appropriating the culture, which. I guess I could commend her for I that, but that. but at the same time, like the culture's here, like we share the culture. You're right. You know what I mean? We have other white rappers, so participate. Right. You I know what I'm saying? You. So yeah, trash. Uh, Black Tie don't know who it is. That That's is not the alternate me. of Tyrese. That is Tyrese's rapper song. And when Tyrese raps, he's Black Tie. So he's had an album where he's rapped on it and he sang on it. So but Black Tie, he considers himself a rapper when he's Black. I right, get him the fuck out of there. All right. Um, Ron Artest. Oh get come on, man, Queen no, Bridge. No, 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 no. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Get, get it poppin'. No, get no. him out of there. All right, Ron Artest. YFN, I try to stick up for Queens. YFN Lucci. I don't know who he is. He's he's a down south rapper. He's okay. I can't put Shaq as one of the worst rappers. Fuck no, I can't put Shaq in. He's a platinum rapper. You know, I can't put Shaq Shaq you know I can't put Shaq in it. Nah, Shaq, yeah, Shaq doesn't belong on this list. Uh, Riff Raff? Trash. Playboy Cardi? He's okay. Nick, Nick Cannon's Cannon. Gigolo. Good. Come on, boy. He's not good. Gigolo. Let me get it. All right, all right, fine. OG. Wild Style? Wild it out? Come on, Nick. Stop. All right. OG Mako is, um, bitch, you guessed it. Who? Uh, he he's trash. trash. Um, Mike Jones? Oh, Mike Jones had a run for like a good two so, years. Mike yeah, Jones was I that can't, nigga. I can't call him trash. Who is Mike Jones? Birdman is fucking trash. This He's the bird man, trash. Stunner. Every song he talks about shining every summer. Shining every, every song. <laughs> every song is shine every summer. Every fucking song. Fuck him. It's the He's bird trash. man, baby. Uh, Bone right. Crusher. Niggas used to call me he Bone Crusher. He was popping, but I can't bro. consider him a rapper. He, I mean, he had energy on songs, but I don't know his lyric. Like, Never Scared was great. He that some, was he, the song. He has some bangers, but I don't, yeah, I don't but know yeah, his he, body of work, yeah, so I'll trash. trash. Iggy Azalea. Oh, she's definitely trash. So fancy? She's trash. All right, she's trash. Trinidad James. Woo, boy, did he come and go. Yeah, he's trash. trash. Lil, Lil Pump, Pump, trash. Trash. McConnell. Going up. He, I don't on consider a, him a rapper. That was more Going singing. up on a Thursday. That was more melody. On a Tuesday. Yeah, going up on a Tuesday. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he doesn't belong on the list. I wouldn't. Oh, nigga, do you. Tony Yayo? Know what this is. One shot, one kill. What the deal? So he's so seductive, dancing on me. His, 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 didn't he have an album? He got a couple albums. That, yeah. that album was I'm shit. serious? Yeah, it was. It yeah, he was the worst of the G on it, so he's trash. Gutter, gutter, Bitch, I'm gutter, gutter. I put her under. I see me with her. No Stevie Wonder. Bedrock. Nah. That was that was his. That's he the could, only verse I know of he him. Could, he could stay on the worst rappers list. Yeah. Webby. Mm. Yeah, he could stay on that. Webby. The only Webby's song class. I know from Webby is "Girl, give me that yeah. pussy." Girl, <laughs> oh, give me that. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, give me that. Give me that. All yeah. right. Um, uh, Chingy. I, I, Chingy was good. The 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 tranny thing fucked his career up. <laughs> That that she did. Sydney Star messed his career up. She did. Dog. Chingy's first album was fire. He was yeah. killing it on verses feature. I wouldn't put Chingy I like the on way worst rap. That right there. Yeah. Yeah. One called away. Earl sweatshirt. I haven't heard enough to call him trash. So I I, I let him pass. Freeway. Um, Freeway's nice. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I here. like Freeway. Freeway's um, too nice. Um, Freeway in the place to, to be. be. Ludacris should never be on this fucking list. Yeah, dog. they disrespected Ludacris. Ludacris got hits. He got good albums. He definitely held his own with the top rappers in the game. That's an insult to Ludacris. So Ludacris does not deserve to be on the 50 list. Cassidy don't list. deserve to be on the list. Cassidy's amazing. Designer, yeah. keep his ass there. Bow Wow. Bow Wow, nah. Bow Wow had a run. Bow Wow sold out Madison Square Garden. Yeah, man. yeah. I got to so. show love to Bow Wow. Uh, Flo Rider, can't, he can't. He got go. a lot of hits, man. He got a lot of hits. He can't go on that. Shawty Low, rest in peace. You deserve to be dun, on this dun, list. Dun, 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 dun. They know. They, they know. know. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he was bad. I don't think he was bad either. But I, I don't think he made enough music to not be on the list. Okay. Chief Keith definitely shouldn't be on the list because he created a whole fucking genre of music. That that yeah, drill you got, music. Yeah, you got and it. All that shit. If you anchor a sound, you got to get credit. And you yeah, he be. don't deserve to be on the list. Plaska stay on there with his balloon head ass. Bust French it, Ma- baby. Plaska stay on there. All right, French, French Montana. Montana. He got hits. Now his mixtapes a legend. Yeah, he don't deserve so, nah. to be on there. Slim Jimmy from um, what's the group? Uh, 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 Ray Schremer. I, I don't. I don't. I, I, I won't Slim put Jimmy. him on there. Memphis Bleak. Bleak is nah, nah. You ain't. You ain't going about to this Bleak. Hold on, nigga. I wasn't gonna put him on there. Relax. All right. Damn. It's my mind right. <laughs> Fuck. Bleak in the building. YG don't deserve to be there. Nah. Tiger don't deserve to be there. Logic. A lot of people don't like Logic. I don't like him. All right, so he stays on the list. Then. He always got. He always. He always got to let us know that he's half black. Yeah. Like, okay, nigga, After you told, me, you told okay. me the first three tracks, you told me this already. Okay, we get it. You mix. I don't want to hear it no more. 21 Savage? No. 
Yeah, he's, he killed it on that record with J. Cole. I got respect for his lyricism yeah. now. So he wouldn't be on the worst rap list. So I would say about 35 of them should stay there. Um, yeah. But there's a couple of them that y'all definitely disrespected. So um, whoever made this list, fuck you. Um, <laughs> but also thank you for shedding light on, on the horrible rappers. This has been uh, another episode of For The Culture Live. Um, please f- keep following us on Instagram, Twitter, at For The Culture Live. Subscribe, download on iTunes, Spotify, everything. I'm your host, Nick Alexander. It's your boy, Ty Sterling. Uh, where can they find you, Ty? At T Y S T E R L I N. And you can find me everything on at Nick of Comedy, N I C K O F Comedy. Uh, y'all be good. Peace. Peace.